So here we're doing finding a, a final amount in a word problem on exponential growth or decay. So it says a city has a population of 360,000 people. Suppose that each year the population grows by 7.25%. What will the population be after 13 years? Round to the nearest whole number. Now for these problems, we are going to be using, it's not compounded, so we don't have an N happening here. It's basically the same formula as the compounded interest formula, but without all the N's. So notice that I don't have this under N and I don't have an N in my um, exponent. Another thing is, is I have plus or minus because when you're talking about money, the money is just collecting and collecting and collecting. So it was always plus. But here, if it's growth, then I'm going to be adding my rate. But if it's decaying, then I'm going to be subtracting that rate, okay? So you have to be careful with these. When we were doing the money problems, it was a completely different situation, okay? Um, unless the problem starts talking about your bank account or your loan decreasing, you're gonna be using a positive value here. So for this example, it tells me all of this. Now it tells me that my, okay, so this is the population right now. So that's gonna be my P value. Then my rate is this 7.25%, but as a decimal, that's 0 0.0725. And then it tells me the years is 13. So I'm gonna plug everything in. A equals 360000 times one. And since it says growth, grows it literally says that word right there this is the top result i know that this is going to be positive then the rate was 0 0.0725 and then the time was 13 and i can literally put that in my calculator 36 0, 0, 0, 0, parentheses 1 plus 0 0.0725 close it raise it to the 13th power and if I round it to the nearest whole number, it's going to be 894267. And so this will be the new population. Now for the next example, it says a car is purchased for $29,500. After each year, the real estate value decreases by 20%. What will the resale value be after five years? Round to the nearest dollar. So when I purchased it, it was this. So that would be the amount that, the value that you're starting at, right? So that means it's going to be P. Then my rate is the 20%, which as a decimal is 0 0.20. And then my T is five years. So if I plug everything into that formula, it's gonna be and because it said decreases, I'm going to use a minus sign, 0 0.20. And then I'm going to raise it to the fifth power. And I get 9, 9, or 9, 6, 6, 7 because that five is going to round that up. And so that is how much the value of the car will be after um, five years.